Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Crew Bites. Today's recipe is a sweet dish, payasam, usually made in Kerala during the festive seasons. The Kerala cuisine takes incredible pride in its quintessential dessert, payasam, which gives an elaborate sadhya the perfect ending. Today we are going to make a coconut payasam. The main ingredient of this payasam is coconut, but I've also added moong dal or split and skin green gram lentils to make it more nutritious. It's a quick and easy recipe and can be prepared easily in 30 minutes and you'll be definitely amazed by its incredible taste. So let's take a quick look at the ingredients. So for this recipe you need full fat milk, raw rice, freshly grated coconut, jaggery powder, cashews and raisins, ghee which is clarified butter and moong dal which is split and skinned green gram lentils. Here I have divided this video into different parts so that it's easy for you to follow the recipe. So the first step is to soak the raw rice. So here I have taken one and a half tablespoons of raw rice and after rinsing it thoroughly soak it in water for 45 minutes to 1 hour. So meanwhile the rice is getting soaked let's boil the milk. So to a small saucepan add about half to 3 fourth cup of full fat milk. Keep a medium flame and we just need to bring the milk to a boil. In this paisam we will be using very less quantity of milk and it should be completely cooled when you use it in the paisam. See now the milk has come to a boil switch off the flame and keep the milk aside to cool completely. So now let's prepare the jaggery syrup. Here I'm using about 2 cups of jaggery powder which is roughly around 500 grams. Add that to a saucepan along with half cup of water and cook in a low flame just until the jaggery melts. If you want you can increase the amount of jaggery powder if you want your paisam to be really sweet or what you can do is at a later stage you can add, check the sweetness and add sugar to it so it's not a big issue. Now switch off the flame and filter the jaggery syrup to remove any impurities and now keep this aside. So our jaggery syrup is ready now. Now let's move on to our next step which is cooking the moong dal. So now heat a small pressure cooker, keep a low flame and add a tablespoon of ghee which is clarified butter and now to this add about quarter cup of moong dal which is split and skinned green gram lentils after rinsing it thoroughly and drained well just roast it in ghee in a low flame until it turns slightly golden and fragrant do not keep a high flame just roast in a very low flame just for around three four minutes see now it's almost roasted now to this I'm going to add about three fourth cup of water and cover and cook in the pressure cooker for three to four whistles in a medium flame until the dal is cooked well and turns soft after four whistles just switch off the flame and allow the pressure to release on its own see now the moong dal is cooked well keep this aside now let's move on to the important step of this paisam that is grinding the coconut along with rice to a mixer add the soaked raw rice after draining well along with half cup of tightly packed freshly grated coconut also add half cup of water as well and then we're going to grind this into a coarse paste please do not grind into a fine paste so this is how our ground rice and a coconut mixture will look like now keep this aside now let's make the paisam so heat a heavy bottom pan and add a tablespoon of ghee to it and now to this add the ground rice and coconut mixture also adding in two cups of water as well and now we're going to in a medium flame by stirring continuously until the mixture starts to thicken it might take around 7 to 10 minutes um, to thicken 
so keep stirring continuously because if you stop stirring the mixture will form lumps which we do not want so just uh, continuously stir it until it starts to thicken it's slowly starting to thicken once it starts to thicken you can see large bubbles in the mixture that's when you know that um, it has reached the right consistency it will look like a semi uh, solid mixture similar to that of a uh, porridge see now it is thickened well this is what we are looking for the grainy texture you see is the rice now what you do is reduce the flame to low and now to this we are going to add the cooked moong dal make sure your dal is really cooked well and it's very soft and now just give it a good mix along with the rice and coconut mixture just for a minute that should be enough and now to this we are going to add the jaggery syrup so your flame should be very low now just add the syrup to it and now we are going to mix well and cook for 3 to 4 minutes in a very low flame so that the rice and coconut mixture the dal um and the jaggery syrup are all blended well so just cook for about 3 to 5 minutes in a very low flame by stirring continuously at this stage check the sweetness and you can add um, either brown sugar or regular sugar if needed and adjust the sweetness to suit your taste see our paisam is almost ready now the only step left now is to just add the boiled and cooled milk which is already ready so now we are going to switch off the flame and remove the pan from heat see it will start to thicken once it's cooled because of the rice and moong dal in it so do not cook it um, to a very thick consistency just a pourable consistency should be ideal now uh, allow it to cool for 5 minutes before you add the milk and make sure the milk is at room temperature before you add to the paisam so here i've added half cup of milk so the amount of milk that you can add depends completely on the consistency of the paisam so you can add up to 3/4 cup so add accordingly and give it a good mix and set this aside now let's move on to the final step which is garnishing the paisam with fried cashews and raisins do not skip this part because it really enhances the flavor of the paisam so heat a small pan and add 2 tablespoons of ghee and to this we're going to add about 2 tablespoons of cashews and 2 tablespoons of raisins as well and now we're going to fry it in a very low flame until the cashews turn slightly golden and the raisins start to plump up just for 1 to 2 minutes see now the cashews and raisins are fried well switch off the flame now add the fried cashews and raisins to the paisam and give it a good mix and finally add a good pinch of cardamom powder as well it gives a good flavor to the paisam but it is optional also adding a teaspoon of ghee and stir well and allow the paisam to rest for 5 minutes before you serve so our tasty and delicious coconut paisam is ready to serve now now transfer this to a serving bowl and enjoy the thing i like about this paisam is that it's very simple to make and it tastes exactly like the paisam when we use coconut milk and jaggery which is uh, usually known as prathaman in malayalam so without much hassle you're getting the same taste of that paisam in in a very quick and easy method i would say this is one of the easiest paisams that you can uh, make so please give it a try 
I hope you all enjoyed today's video. See you all soon with more good recipes. Until then, goodbye.